you just read about my mother. No doubt she had this incredible impact on my personal life. You see, as a little boy growing up in the tiny village, I remember her waking up early morning hours like three and four and spending hours in prayer. And one of her prayer was that of the six boys, one of them will commit his life to serve the Lord. One by one, they were going off to business and farming and all that. When I was growing up, kind of timid and shy and withdrawn, she kind of lost her hope. But then she decided to pray and fast specifically for this. For three and a half years, every Friday she fasted, saying, Lord, call one of my boys to serve you. That's what happened in my life. Her prayer was answered. The Lord called me to serve him. When she was 84, just one week, she was kind of sick and she just died. And I'm so glad I happened to be in India at that time. But then after the funeral, my brothers and I began to talk about our mother in the room. When we talked about the kind of resources she left behind or the money she left in the bank, we discovered there was nothing she left behind. And then we will discover the diary she kept. Dozens of names of young people in Bible schools and people serving God in many parts of the country. And against each name, the kind of money she was sending to support them on the mission field. I broke down weeping. No, not because there was no money in the bank that she left for me, but rather I remember a couple of years prior to that, I was angry with my mother when I saw her not spending any money on herself, the kind of clothes she was wearing. I, I, I said, Mother, why don't you take care of yourself? We give you all the money you want. <laughs> she smiled and said, My son, you don't understand. Someday you will. It was as though she walked back into the room and now whispering in my ear, My son, I could have spent the money on myself any way I wanted, but something more important. I wanted to see people come to know the Lord. But that's not the end of the story. You see, the last thing she left with her boys went like this. When I'm dead and gone, the only thing I will leave behind, it's my earrings, the wedding ring, and the gold chain my husband gave me when he married me at the age of 19. Sell these items and give the money to preach the gospel among people that never heard my Jesus name. I want to meet them also in heaven. She knew the Lord. She walked with him. And I can tell you, now with the Lord Jesus Christ, she is not having any regret the way she lived and walked and prayed and fasted and lived in the light of eternity. You see, living in a tiny village, having never traveled to any other place, she made such incredible impact for the kingdom. So you can. So we all can. And I pray that we will too follow the Lord and be used by Him to touch a world that so desperately need to hear about the Lord Jesus Christ. 